Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. It's an absolute pleasure and honor to have been asked by Allison. Uh, last year it was Allison to um, partner with uh, this exhibition, um, which is presented in two parts. As you know, it's a hybrid exhibition, so it is digital. Uh, we've also produced a catalog, digital and hard copy. And this evening, we're so pleased to welcome you to this live face-to-face -face exhibition, a retrospective, a celebration of 60 plus years of absolute visual arts genius. That is Alison Chapman Andrews. And, um, <laughs> When she asked me to deliver remarks, I, I thought, um, what do I say? What do I say about 60 plus years of you know, great work, uh, of a legacy that will stand the test of time? And uh, then I looked for inspiration because in my office, right across from my desk, is a huge Alison Chapman Andrews painting. But I left it too long and therefore on Thursday when I thought I'll put down some notes this lady had taken the painting, and it's somewhere here as part of the, I think it's these fields and hills, it's some it's part of the exhibition. And so my inspiration was lost. And this afternoon, <laughs> uh, when I really couldn't put it off any longer, I thought, well, what do you say about someone that you have, I mean, you can't be in culture and not know the name, Alison Chapman Andrews, and then to see the work when you get involved with work at the National Cultural Foundation and then to have it in your office and to meet the artist, what do you say? And so I've put together a little something. It started out, started out as a poem and then it went into an essay and, well, here we go. I have always envied the artist, the artist, artiste, artisan, conduits of imagination, those divinely gifted with the power to create to use brushstrokes and notes, materials, words, any element that works to transform the world of us ordinary folk. I think their senses are shaped and sharpened differently. How else could they be mortal, parent, sibling, friend, colleague, lover, and wizard all at once? I am yet to find the answer to that question. It continues to baffle and I continue to behold their artistry in amazement, to see and hear and touch and taste and sense their varied genius, their take on life and living and loving and losing and winning, their treatment of pleasure and pain, their commentary on culture and country. Everything is a subject, every outing a lesson. For through their eyes, my world is a cahoblopot of being, a mobaton of experiences, a beriffle of magic. I have always envied the artist, their escape route out of the ordinary, the mundane, the troubled, the frenzied. Oh, to be able to have a haven, a secret place from where expression is pure and unfiltered, wide, wild, and wonderful. No limits, no lines, no lies. And so it is with Alison. 60 years and counting, I marveled. 60 years of imagination, inspiration, and expression. A treasure of her generation and ours and those to come. 60 years of beauty, of perseverance, of absolutely prolific work of powerful statements about this land, her land, our land. Oh, what a joy and an honor to be guided by her eye and see the landscape as an extraordinary thing where gullies are galaxies, palms express passion, mangoes are jeweled orbs, and shapes shift and spiral and dominate spaces. Where nothing is flat, layer upon layer of color and texture and nuance, so much so that my view is different from yours and even yours, and yet we are all moved and transformed by the experience. Through her eye, not eyes, I see our history, our progress, and our prowess. I learn to look and see and love and cherish my land. Thanks to Alison, 
my view is widened, my appreciation enhanced, and if only just a little bit, my envy of the artist tempered. You know, there is an honor in revering the artist, in acknowledging that the art of sharing an amazing gift is equally as significant as possessing it. To find respite and succor and revelation in Alison's work, to immerse in her expression, her wisdom, and her worldview is an exceptional experience and a great sharing. And so I say thank you, Alison, for your life's work to date. Hint, hint, to date. Thank you for generously and selflessly affording us a glimpse of your soul. Thank you for nudging us towards an appreciation of this land and our land. And most importantly, thank you for the beauty, the creativity, and the magic. Thank you. <laughs>